Oh baby, do we have some breaking news for you guys right now? Mercedes-Benz vans and Rivian move to partner on electric van production. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this partnership that uh, I didn't necessarily see coming. It's pretty much come out of absolutely nowhere. Rivian investors really enjoyed this reaction. They're up about 8.5% as of record and market just opened a little bit ago. They were up over 9% in the pre-market trading. People have reacted very, very well. Now, in regards to Mercedes, people haven't reacted quite as well. They're down about 4% as of recording. But we're going to speak about it. We're going to speak about what is actually going to happen. And ultimately, I'm going to be focused on Rivian in today's video. And trying to answer the question, you know, could this potentially be a buy signal? Or could it be a sell signal after this huge, you know, near 10% move in the span of half an hour? When they have been quite quiet as of late. So right before we get into the juicy information, could I please ask you to hit that spicy like button? It's a spicy like button today. Just click it, you'll feel the spice, I promise you. It's that simple. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know, are you involved with Rivian or Mercedes? You invested in either? How do you feel about this deal? And please, my friend, if you are indeed new around here, hit that subscribe button. Join the family of investors. I appreciate all of your support over the last few days. Trying to get back to literally daily uploads. I appreciate you all. So Mercedes and Rivian moved to partner on electric van production. So Mercedes and Rivian signed a memorandum of understanding for a strategic partnership and joint production of electric vans with the objective to set the standard in sustainable and all-electric transportation. So vans is an interesting one. I'm wondering whereabouts they're going to fall into effect when it comes to the Inflation Reduction Act, like how heavy they're going to be. No matter what, though, it's going to be a good thing for them. They're going to uh, they're going to get some nice incentives here, some nice tax credits. It's, it's a good thing to do. The planned joint venture will produce bespoke large electric vans for Mercedes-Benz and for Rivian. Doesn't say exactly what kind of large electric vans, you know, what their, uh, what their main target audience is going to be just yet. But again, this is breaking news. I'm sure we're going to get an update on this in the relatively near future, guys. The companies look to leverage shared investments, okay, very important, shared costs, and will pursue operational synergies to rapidly scale electric van production. So again, I'm interested to see what comes out, hopefully over the next month or so, hopefully even less than that, in regards to this. Because obviously... Uh, Rivian aren't quite as established as Mercedes at this stage, and I don't know if they'll quite be able to leverage some of their own uh, assets the same way that Mercedes will. So I'll be interested to see what way this uh, partnership works out. And then there is further options for increased synergies from the joint venture that will also be explored. So, you know, they're not limiting themselves just yet, but this is the initial plan, okay? Now, subject to the parties entering into final binding agreements, this is where we will get all of that juicy information I just said we're looking for, and to obtaining the relevant regulatory clearances... The companies intend to establish a new joint venture manufacturing company with the purpose of investing in and operating a factory in Europe to produce large electric vans for both Mercedes and Rivian starting in a few years. So again, it's not like this is going to be a pop-up. It's not going to happen next week. In a few years is what they're saying here. They're just trying to get the final, you know, little, little law bindings, law agreements going and then they can get started. The target is to build an all-new electric-only production facility, leveraging an existing Benz site in Central slash Eastern Europe. So again, I'm wondering, they're already going to be leveraging this existing site that belongs to Mercedes-Benz. What are going to be the ins and outs when it comes to capital? Especially important when looking at Rivian, in my opinion. The companies envisage production-optimized vehicle designs for efficient manufacturing on common assembly lines. They will aim to produce two large vans, okay? One based on Mercedes-Benz van's electric architecture, and the electric-only platform of Mercedes-Benz vans, and the other is based on a second-generation electric van Rivian light van platform. Further options for increased synergies from the joint venture will also be explored. So I would imagine it will start off like this, and then if things go well, if the partnership blooms, they will bring more into it. The joint venture mirrors the common objective of Benz and Rivian. Both companies plan to rapidly scale the production of electric vans to help the world transition to cleaner transportation. I mean, that's what they both stand for. Mercedes-Benz has... As far as, like, legacy automakers goes, legacy OEMs, they are a step ahead of an awful lot of them. If you look at the Inflation Reduction Act, you can see that they already uh, exceeded some of their tax credits on some of their vehicles. So, again, this is going to help Benz uh, to no end. By working together, they will be able to leverage operation synergies and substantially increase cost efficiency to help make the vans more affordable for commercial customers driven by total cost of ownership. Awesome. Beautiful. And it's actually quite exciting. It, it is quite exciting. I wonder if any smaller EV companies, ones that aren't, you know, as established as Rivian or as large as Rivian are going to follow suit here. So CEO of Rivian goes on to say that Rivian was created to encourage the world to transition away from fossil fuel consumption by creating compelling products and services. 
We're delighted to be partnering with Mercedes-Benz on this project. Mercedes-Benz is one of the world's best known and respected automotive companies. They are, to be fair. And we believe that together we will produce truly remarkable electric vans, which will not only benefit our customers, but the planet. Now, electric vans, I have to say from the bat, are becoming more and more um, flooded in the market compared to where they were literally only two, three years ago. But that's not a bad thing, and it's going to just make the market better as a whole, I suppose. So, yeah. And then the head of Mercedes-Benz van says, As a pioneer in the field of locally emission tree transformation, their van has gained broad experience in producing and launching e-vans since 2010. And they have a good client list if you want to go and look that up. Now, we are accelerating the transformation to a fully electric product portfolio. From 2025 onwards, all vans based on our new architecture will be electric only. Uh, again, Mercedes have, to be fair, been one of the bigger legacy automakers who, you know, have really gone after electric only. I am delighted that as part of this transformation, we are now joining forces with Rivian, a highly dynamic and expiring partner with a strong technology position. We are sharing investments and technology because we also share the same strategic ambition. Awesome. So again, that's what it really comes down to. This partnership really comes down to, you know, being as cost effective as possible being able to get the best products out to the consumer as possible and as quickly as possible and just sharing generally everything. So me guys, I think most people will know I'm not invested in Rivian at the moment, but I have been covering them on the channel a little bit more lately. And what's funny is the last video I made on Rivian, I said I'm probably going to stop covering them because it's just been very boring. Not a lot has been happening. You can see a week just completely flat. I said there's no point in continuing to cover them in the technical videos I'm doing. And then something like this comes and happens. So I'm definitely going to have to keep my eye on them for another week or two. Now, again, when we look at the technicals for Rivian, I have a few lines, uh, a few lines, <laughs> a few lines drawn out. This here is just, you know, the previous kind of high that we made and the most recent low that we made. And so that's a very considerable range of $19.16 up to $54.50 pretty much. But then we had this much smaller period of consolidation here where a lot of volume was built up between $25 essentially and $32.50. You see, they broke out above there. And I mean, this is a nice run, guys. From $32 all the way up to $40, that's a 20% move in the span of less than two weeks pretty much. They came back gave all of that back and then they were sitting on this so remember this was previously a short-term resistance it kind of to an extent turned into a support they couldn't completely break below it but they couldn't break back above now this move happened they are looking strong they are looking very strong i would not be surprised if they can maintain above that 3250 now with that being said i think this piece of news here you know it's obviously moved the stock's price up very very quickly a lot of people see a headline and buy because they know that more people are going to see that same headline and buy. But when people actually read into it and see that, you know, nothing's going to really become material here for years. And it's only at the, um, it's a memorandum of understanding. It's not actually a, a, a like, law binding thing yet. We might see some people just run away with their profits. So, me personally, I'm still going to be checking out around this area. I would not be surprised whatsoever if we do see, you know, a 5 to 10% pullback over the span of a week or two. But it's good news it is positive news and there is definitely a possibility that they could at least test this recent high here at 40 dollars a share before any sort of pullback does happen so i think this is the absolute biggest piece of news in the whole universe not really guys i mean think about it it's going to be years before anything materializes it is definitely good positive news for rivian and again you do want to look years down the line <laughs> but how much more news is going to come out in the meantime it's going to move the stock even more they are trading again at that quite weird level, guys. I do think it could go either way. That small gap created on the daily as well. Just keep an eye on them. But that's what I'm going to be doing now. <laughs> I, I, I literally just about moved them down my watch list. And now I'm going to have to move them right back up there. Because I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on them. But exciting days for Rivian investors. And probably exciting to Mercedes investors. I don't know. I don't know how those guys are going to feel about this. But anyway, guys, that's my thoughts. I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. Because this literally is absolutely breaking news. So if you watched all the way till the end, you, my friend, are a true legend. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. The support on the video since coming back and, you know, trying my best to do these dailies has been awesome. So really do appreciate it, guys. If you did enjoy the video, perhaps took some value, some insight, please hit that juicy like button. It helps me out so much more than you understand. And on the same thing, just comment and subscribe. All that helps me out so much. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm going to see you in another video very soon. Peace.